Hi guys, welcome to Classic Rock and Country Music Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Happy Easter! He has risen. Today's video, uh, before we get started, please subscribe. Thank you. Uh, today's video is on Hank Williams Sr. and how he was fired from the Grand Ole Opry in 1952 and will never be reinstated. In a long time. Take a look. It's almost impossible to imagine the country icon and all-time legend Hank Williams is not is not a member of the Grand Ole Opry. But it's quite the opposite, actually. Just 25 years old, he made his Grand Ole Opry debut on June 11th of 1949, and fans were so enamored with his performance that he received an impressive six encores for his classic song and country sta standard, uh, Love Sick Blues. But after he missed a scheduled performance at the country institution in 52 because of his heavy drinking, he of course was famously known for bailing on shows, they fired him. Uh, it was never supposed to be a permanent band. However, Hank Sr. tragically and mysteriously passed away just six months later in January of 53 on his way to play shows in West Virginia and Ohio. And now some 70 years later, the Opry has no plans to ever posthumously reinstate him. So even though, uh, even though his family members started a petition back in 2003 to have him reinstated, which received over 65,000 signatures, didn't quite have the effect they hoped it would. According to Dan Rogers, the executive producer of the Grand Ole Opry, in 2020 interview with Rolling Stone, it's because they want to focus on living artists who can contribute to the show and they can promote in return. Ike Williams will always be a treasured past member of the Grand Ole Opry. Grand Ole Opry has made a living of breathing artists who can contribute to the show and to whom the Opry can give back. Of course, they have an immense respect for who Hank was and what he meant to the genre of country music, but it sounds like they want to continue to focus on promoting the next generation of country artists. But even though he isn't listed as a permanent member of the Opry, Rogers poignantly adds that his spirit and influence is felt every night through the artists and performers who continue to carry on a torch and sing his songs. Not a single Opry night that happens where his influence isn't felt. There are many, many, many Opry shows where his music is sung. And speaking of those incredible six on course of Lux, Lovesick Blues, you can find it right there on YouTube. Don't buy into that uh, we're dealing with the living type thing. I just don't think they want to take time to do it, to be honest with you. Uh, that's my opinion, mind you. Uh, and you know, we're dealing with a new country artist. Uh, there is no new country artist. There is no new country. It's, it's well, it's new country. It's not country. Uh, and I've done some shows with several, like, like Lou Bryan and stuff. Nice guys, but that ain't country music. Uh, Florida George Line, not country music. It's good. It's not country. Um, if you disagree, that's cool. Put it in the comments. We'll talk about it. Please don't forget to subscribe, though. Before you comment, you must subscribe. <laughs> Have a great day. Have a great Easter. Uh, have a blessed Easter. Uh, I'll be praying for you. I bless you.